from a giant discovery in Poland to a creature that might be a dog or a cat? This is Trending Tuesdays. Number six, at a mere 11 grams, the Brazilian free-tailed bat makes up for in speed for whatever it might lack in weight. The minuscule winged mammal has been clocked at speeds over 100 miles per hour in horizontal flight, and that makes it the fastest flyer in the animal kingdom. The record was previously held by birds in the swift family, which can hit speeds past 60 miles per hour in horizontal flight. Now, by contrast, peregrine falcons can reach speeds up to 100 186 miles per hour when diving. Researchers attribute the Brazilian bat speed to their aerodynamically shaped bodies and narrow wings, which are longer than average. They're found throughout the Americas and grow about three and a half inches long. Number five. Mud Dragon. The fossil of a bird-like dinosaur was found at a Chinese building site, and it was preserved almost intact. The remains show the creature was lying on its front, with its neck and wings outstretched, suggesting the creature was captured in its death throes. It was trapped in mud around 66 to 72 million years ago, shortly before dinosaurs were wiped out by an asteroid strike. The two-legged animals were feathered dinosaurs called oviraptosaurs. The creatures are characterized by toothless heads and sharp beaks, and had bone crests on top of the heads that were likely used to attract mates and intimidate rivals, not unlike the modern-day cassowary. The mud dragon skeleton was found during excavations that used explosives, and does display some evidence of damage caused by a blast of dynamite. Experts think the fossil will provide clues about these creatures that flourished just before for the KT extinction event. Number four. A giant discovery was announced in Poland last week, so to speak. Archaeologists there unearthed a mysterious skeleton of a woman just outside of a church, and the proportions of her body suggest she was a giantess, standing over seven feet tall. The skeleton was initially discovered in 1977, but has only recently been detailed, and is thought to date between the 12th and 14th centuries. Experts think the woman likely suffered from gigantism, a rare condition caused by an overproduction of growth hormone from the pituitary gland and resulting in excessive height. Analysis also revealed a number of health issues found in the woman's skeleton, including degenerative joint disease in the spine and a condition that causes cranial bones to become excessively large. Number three. What? A deep sea diver spotted a bizarre creature with 13 legs and a transparent jelly head on the seafloor off the coast of Bali. When video of the squirming creature was first released, no one could figure out exactly what it was, but scientists soon identified it as Melib viridis. It's an alien looking sea slug most often found in tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The animal swims by bending from side to side, touching its head to its tail. The tentacle-like legs are actually lobes. They can detach and stick to predators. It has limited eyesight that can only detect light and dark, and they navigate mostly by scent and grow to around 12.7 centimeters long. Did you know sea slugs are sea snails that over time have lost their shell? Number two, cat or dog. Chances are you're familiar with Achum. The creature has become a social media phenom with over 162,000 followers on Instagram. The furry animal from Quebec, Canada has presented a puzzle ever since his picture was posted on Twitter, however. There was an ongoing debate as to whether Achum is a dog or a cat or possibly both. While we're tempted to just leave it there, we do feel it's incumbent upon us to tell you the truth. The person who initially posted the picture admitted that Achum is in fact a cat. His Instagram account page describes him as a young male Persian, and we're assuming that's a reference to the cat breed. Number one. Locals in Nigeria killed a snake suspected of eating farmers' livestock only to discover the reptile was pregnant. Because the huge creature was so swollen, it was thought to have swallowed a calf. But after the animal was killed and its body was cut open, it turned out the creature's swollen look was caused by the huge amount of eggs it was carrying. Snakes can produce hundreds of eggs at a time, but it's not completely clear what sort of snake this was. Judging by its size, it seems 
to be about a foot wide and several meters in length. A good guess would be the snake was an African rock python, the largest snake on the continent. These non-venomous constrictor snakes have been known to grow up to six meters long. After this snake was cut open, dozens of eggs were removed by locals. This is Trending Tuesdays.